Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and it's been a long time, but, you know, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna re be redoing my light tutorial, because I was dumb back then. So, if you did follow that tutorial, I don't recommend going back and watching it. I would recommend that, actually, because I did this, and you want to do that for this. How to start is get your light, your physical light, and then your point light, and color it to that same color. So how you can do that is click this little button right here, drag your mouse over it, click it, and it'll change the color. I suggest uh, dragging the actual whole light onto the wall, touching the wall, or wherever you have it. Now what you're gonna make sure is, make sure this is static. Yes, change children. So once you have it static, uh, make sure this is on baked mode, and shadow type, soft shadows render mode auto make sure it just looks exactly like this uh, range however you want it color however you want it but uh also intensity however you want it i'm gonna do a two just in case uh but everything else make sure it's the same now you're gonna select your map make sure you're not like selecting other stuff but just the physical walls and floor and whatever and make sure that's set to static you can also make your computer set static, make sure ch yes, change children, um, and the cosmetics don't matter. The, I mean, the buttons you can actually, but don't change anything like inside the player. Uh, don't, uh, uh, don't static the gorilla rig, and then that's pretty much all you need. Now what you're gonna do is make sure anything you want the lighting to be on make it uh static this basically tells the game that it will not be moving and you can put a light map on it now right now i'm gonna put uh something to make it look better like let's say i, I want to make stairs Now you have a little uh, ladder and you can see the shadows right here. But now we're going to add the actual lighting. So go ahead and click your ladder, click static, or if you have a ladder. And if you don't, you, you don't have to do this. Uh, yes, change children, and we'll make all of these static. And now what you're gonna do is click window, rendering, lighting. Let it load, drag the text right here, drag the tab in next to your inspector, that's the best spot to do it. Now, click new lighting settings. You can name this right here, click it to find it. Name it like whatever your game is. You can name it anything you want, like your games, like whatever your game name is and then lights or whatever. And then what you're gonna do is, for progressive CPU, change it to preview. That makes it go faster. Um. Make sure minimum bounces are two. Everything else is default in this row. And then, right here, instead of 1024, make it 512. Make sure high quality is none. Turn this on and make max distance 1.3. Make indirect, make this two, and then make this one. Um, make sure this is non-directional. Make sure this is 1.68. And then everything else will be default, it, or it should look like this. So I'm gonna go over it again. I'm gonna slowly scroll. All right, that's everything. Uh, now click generate lighting. Do not auto generate, just click generate lighting. Uh, if you wanna know why not to click this, um, it'll generate lighting every time you change something. You do wanna do that every update, you wanna regenerate this, because it will change the shadows. 
because if I like generate it, move this, the shadow will still be here. It's like, it just makes it look better. So we'll click generate lighting. And this may take a long time depending on how much objects you have in your game and lights. But it shouldn't take that long for my game, but I'm just gonna time lapse it anyways. All right, it, the baking is done and it did not really work for this, for this light. Uh, I don't know why that is. It kind of, it worked here, but not with the shadows. I don't know what that's about. Uh, this light worked definitely. Um, see how these look kind of out of place? Uh, that's because I didn't make them static, so it's not dark. But as you can see, like the sky is a little brighter, so it makes this look nice. And here's the other map that I made in that first tutorial. Now, uh, let's say, okay, let's say you're having these like weird uh, boxes or glitchy like lighting and you're like, bro, why is this happening? I did it how you did it. Well, you wanna make sure there's not backsides of the walls. So let's say what backsides would look like is, it would look like this. Let's say you had it, you have backsides like this. You do not wanna have that. That will glitch the lighting. Uh, my friend helped me figure that out because that's, that's what was happening in my game and I couldn't, fi couldn't figure that out. Just make sure you don't have this backside. You can just disable it or you can fully delete it. But yeah, that's, that's a problem that is very common. And now I have to fix this. I'm gonna try this one more time and if it doesn't work, then I guess I'm doing something wrong. And I'm also gonna show you the difference between not having these um, static and having them static. So this is, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll skip to the part where I bake it. So this is not baked. And this is what it looks like when it is baked. As you can see, it is a lot better. Now we have a problem right here. See how it's like shiny? You just easily fix that by going into here, clicking this, turning the smoothness down. That's pretty useful. Uh, but as you can see, there's like little shadows and it doesn't look out of place. Now, next tutorial will be leaderboard because y'all are asking that for that in the Discord server. So I'm sorry I could not perfectly get the baked lighting to work, but that's pretty much how you do it. Use this to your advantage while making a game and it will look 10 times better. It'll look like Capuchin and all those other like professional games. It'll look better than Gorilla Tag, not gonna lie. But that's gonna be it. I do give credit to Fizzy, who made uh, who made the first baked lighting tutorial that I saw at least. And that's how you make baked lighting. I wish this would have worked, but it partly worked. It didn't make the shadows, but it made the you know lighting here. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will make leaderboards next, and then hit sounds. So I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.